Hello and welcome to yet another lecture on basic electrical engineering. Myself, Pratitara, Assistant Professor of the Practical Geometry Degree Engineering College, Electrical Engineering Department. So, today we will discuss about the key value, RMS value of a waveform, AC waveform. So, it is the sinusoidal waveform. The previous class that we have discussed about the, in our previous lecture that we have discussed about the generation of AC mathematical expression of an AC, how a graph is called the AC area under the graph for a particular time period is zero, then it is called the AC. Then the formation of the AC is also seen to us and along with the conception of frequency and the time. So today we will discuss about the RMS values, also the peak values, average values of an AC graph. So let us start with the conception of average values. First, we are start with the peak value of an AC graph. So in order to do that, let us draw our AC graph. So this is a sinusoidal graph. This is a sinusoidal graph. So this is a current graph. So peak value can be found from that particular for the positive half. This is the positive peak value and this is the negative peak. Value. So this is called the peak value. So this is called the peak value. The peak value or the maximum peak value of the graph. This is called a peak value, IP, the top value. This is called the peak value of an particular AC graph. So let us discuss about the average value so what does mean the average so if we have a three numbers say one two and three so what is the average average is that average is that sum of the three numbers that is one plus two plus three followed by the number of numbers that is average value is 2 this is why we can calculate the average this is generally known to us so for a sine curve say this is 0 to pi and this is 2 pi so what is the average value average value is total area under the graph divided by total time period okay so means there is a conception of integration will become so this is the graphical method in order to find the average value so that is the average value can be v of average can be written as sum of all the mid or sum of all the mid ordinates divided by number of mid ordinates that we have done so here say this uh, for a positive half cycle it is divided into 12 terms v1 for that particular instance the value is v1 for that instance it's instant that is v2 v3 v4 and up to v12 so summation of v1 plus v2 plus v3 up to v12 divided by the 12 will give the that is an average value the v1 v2 v3 v4 up to v12 divided by total number of divisions that is the 12 mid ordinates so it will give the value of the average voltage so this is called the graphical method of calculating the average voltage so the average voltage the process used to find the average voltage of an alternating wave from or average quantity of an alternating wave from is very similar to the finding its rms value the difference is that the instantaneous values are not square and we do not find the square root of the summing means the average value is total summation divided by the number of divisions that is called the general value say for the 18 degree the value is angle 6.2 volt for 36 degree the corresponding value is 11.8 volt that we have found for a particular graph for 54 degree the value is 16.2 volt for 72 degree the same value is for the graph is 19 volt. for 90 degree it is 12 volt 
four hundred and eighty degree is nineteen. Four hundred and twenty six degree it is one six point two. Four hundred and forty four degree it is eleven point eight four. Four hundred and sixty two degree it is six point two. And hundred and eighty degree it is zero four. So summation of all these voltages is six point two plus eleven point eight plus sixteen point two plus nineteen. Plus twenty plus nineteen plus sixteen point two plus eleven point eight plus six by ten divided by total number of divisions one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. You will get the average value. V average it is denoted by V average is twelve point six four volt. So now we are delay. Uh, we are now approach to the two type of method. One is called the graphical method and one is called the analytical method. This is the graphical method that we have done. Now in case of the analytical method. What we will do, we will take a total area for a one cycle. We will take, it. and what we will do, we will calculate the area under the graph, area under the total curve. Vp is the peak voltage of the peak voltage means the peak value of the voltage that we have just discussed. So, what is the area? Area is this is a sine curve, so we can write the peak value is Vp sine omega t dt, and we have to Sum this area under the graph within the range zero to pi, so zero to pi. So it will give the total value of the average. So what is the uh, total summation of the value? So what is the average? It will be give one by pi. We have to divide it by one by pi. Let's do it. For that we have to calculate the average value. Say high average. We have to calculate the I average. In order to relate to it, let's take it as a V. Let's take it as a V. This is the peak value V. So let's take it as a V. This is the voltage set, and this is the peak value of the voltage. So what is the average value? V of the average is written as AV. So what is the area under the curve? It's a symmetrical graph. So it means from zero to pi, and from pi to two pi that we have seen that is AC curve. So the total area for a particular type of is zero. So we will take it from zero to pi. So what is the equation? So the it is a sine curve and maximum value is Vp. So we can write it as a Vp sine. Omega t d omega t. Okay. So we have to find the total area under under the graph means we have to integrate it from zero to pi. This is the total area. Means now we have done. If I compare it with that particular equation, we have done that part. Means we have done the one plus two plus three total summation part that we have done. Now we have to divide it by the total number of elements. This three elements. So this three part can be termed as it is the total. Now this is the summation I have done. Now we are calculating the average value. Means we have divided by one by pi within that area. This area. Okay. So this part is done. So this divided by one by pi. So. What is the integration of sine d omega t dt? It is clearly that the integration of sine omega t dt is minus cos omega t. Okay, so it will be written as cos of omega t minus integration of sine theta is minus cos of omega t, and if I put the value of the integration range that is pi to two pi. It is two Vp. The output will be two Vp by pi. If I done that two by pi, the value of two by pi is zero point six three seven. This is the zero point six three seven into Vp. This is the average value of voltage that we have calculated. This is the average value of the voltage that is zero point six three seven V. This is the equation of average value. It is two V P by pi or two I P by pi equal to zero point six three seven V P or 
फ्रॉम्सिडेंसिंग And if the peak value is this is a positive peak and this is a negative peak. If the peak value is multiply with the zero point six three seven, we will get the means sixty three point six percent. That is the total value, and sixty three point six percent of that peak value will be found as the average value. Means zero point three six seven is multiplied with the peak value to find the Average value is a sixty-three point seven percent. This is a positive peak and this is a negative. The average value is zero over a complete setting. That I have told because here under the graph for this setting is zero. Total for a particular um, graph for a particular time period, so the average value will be zero. As the positive average area would be cancelled. By that I have seen that we have seen that the positive area will be cancelled by the negative area. So sum of the resulting total area will be zero. Okay, so. That the previous case that we have done, that the what is our peak value for that particular case? The maximum value is a twenty is our peak value. So if I multiply twenty with points, this is the peak value twenty. This is the highest value among those ten values. So this is the peak value twenty. This is the twenty value is multiplied with point six three seven in order to get the twelve point seven four. That is the average value that we have get from the graphical method. Okay, so what is that we are getting from the graphical method? That is twelve point six four. It is same for the both graphical and the analytical method. We are calculating the value of average value that we have already calculated. The conception of average value. So now come to the conception of RMS value. So what is the RMS value? In order to calculate the RMS value, first we will learn that the RMS means. RMS means root mean square. The RMS value means it is root mean square. It will start from the right hand side. First, we have to do the square followed by the mean and then followed by the root. Say so one, two, three. That is the two numbers. We have to find three numbers. That is, we have to find the RMS value. First, we have to do the square means one square. Two square and three square. Then we have to do the mean. Mean means summation by total number of terms. That is three. First we done the square. Then we done the mean. Then we have to follow by the root. Mean we have to find the root over of that particular to find the RMS value. The root mean square value. The RMS value, the root mean square value will be that. Calculating after that part, we will get that is two point one six. It's called root followed by mean. R stands for root. M stands for mean. And A stands for square. So, how to find the RMS value of a sine curve? Same thing. So, in order to find the say the V RMS, we are trying to find. So, how to find the RMS value? First, we have to do the square means V M square 
sin square pm sin theta means sin square omega t dt p omega t then same process that we have to follow that we have done the mean 0 to pi followed by the that is the summation that we have done. Now we are doing the mean, means 1 by pi, then followed by the root. The value will be getting that we have getting that is the 0 0.70. Calculating that all those things that the RNS value can be getting that 0 0.707 by T P. It is the 70.7 percent of the or say the BM. I can write it in the term of so that it can be easily understood. PM or I can write it is a PP. The peak value 70.7 percent is the RMS value. So it is clear that the average value is 0 0.637 for the max VP and the RMS value is the 0 0.707 of the maximum peak value VP. So one is the 70.7 percent to find the RMS value and one is the 63.7 percent to find the average value of a sine wave. So what is the form factor? Form factor is a general ratio of RMS value to the average value. So what is the form factor? Form factor is form factor can be that is form factor can be written as the RMS value to the average value. That is RMS value to the average value. That is the form factor. So put those values. One is 0 0.707. And one is 0 0.67. So we just getting the value of the font factor is. So for a sinusoidal or a complex wave form, the font factor is given as approximately equal to a constant called 1.11. So the font factor can be written as a constant called 1.11. Nearly about 1.11. This is one of the font factors. The value of RMS value to the average. We'll just put those values. So that is 0 0.707 of VP, and another is 0 0.637, so 3.7 percent of VP. So this is known as form factor. So let us take a problem in order to find those RMS values. Let us take a problem. Let us take a graph. Say this one. Zero. This is two. This value is say two. So we have to find the so this is voltage and this is the time. So we have to find the V average and V RMS. So how to find it? So average value means total area under the curve by total time period. So what is the total area under the graph? This is the total area under the graph is total area so this is abc can be written as so it is a triangle so total area of abc can be written as half half ab into bc so that can be written as uh, Two AB BC is two. So 
total area is 2 so what is the total area total area is 2 so what is the value of average value so the average can be calculated you can also do it with the form of integration to use the total area by total time t or total time period is also 2 minus 0 equal to 2 so the average value of the voltage is 1 volt is the average value so what is the rms value in order to find the rms value we have to find the function we can do it we can find the average value with the help of the function too so this is a y equal to mx graph straight line that is passing through the origin so m that is generally known as slope change in y that is 2 minus 0 change in y that is the voltage 2 minus 0 by right? change in x that is time 2 minus 0 so the m value will be 1 so the equation y means around the y axis it is v equal to 1 into t along the x axis so this is the general equation v equal to t so in order to find the rms value first we have to take the square of that equation means First is the square that is t square followed by the mean that is from 0 to 3 integration that is from 0 to 2 means this portion dt divided by 0 to 2 that it is the 0 to 2 portion from 0 to 2 and that is divided by the time axis that is 0 to 2 means this 2 is from 0 to 2 this range is come from 0 to 2 that is the voltage range and again the time length that is 0 to 2 so you divide by 1 by 2 followed by the root so the value of the calculation that we are obtaining is 1.154 this is a calculation of average well so that is a rms value so that is the rms value calculation and the average value the average value that we are getting that is 1 volt and the rms value that we are getting that is 1 point one five volt. How it is done? Because we are putting the equation v equal to t. So first is the square, t square. Then the integration means area under the graph. We can done it. We can done it in the case of average value calculation too. So t square into dt. Zero to t means this range, the range of voltage, this range, and followed by the time range one by two. That is the mean, and followed by the root. So this is how you can easily able to calculate the rms value as the average value of a graph. So today we have learned about the calculation of peak value, RMS value, average value, form factor, and along with that mathematical expression in order to find the RMS value and the average value of a particular waveform. Thank you.